Thanks very much for watching. And if you enjoyed that clip, you can tap the link on the bottom and you can watch the full show. Moving on to the next game. Let's have a looky looky here. We're going to the big sky. One of my favorite conferences because they do have a free streaming service that you can watch all the games and watch the replays if you're interested in scouting. I chose two games to talk about and give out picks for on this card. So Weber State opened as a two-point favorite. We've seen the line go back and forth between one and one and a half and even a one for Montana. So obviously we're going to have to use legal U.S. books. And Weber State is going to be my pick in this game. I like Weber State in this game because this is a group that has a lot of talent when it comes to pressuring, when it comes to getting your quality and style of offense going. And I think that that's going to be critical for Weber State in this game. It's been a while since they've won a game in Montana's gym, so they definitely need to get that bugaboo off their back. And it's going to be a first while for a lot of things when they go up against Montana. They're going up against a less potent offensive Montana team, a team that is trying to figure itself out and determine its own hierarchy within its roster. And I think that with Weber State, this is an opportunity for them to squash this notion that they cannot play in step-up games. They weren't able to beat Southern Utah on the road. And they weren't able to beat BYU when they did have that game kind of close in the second half. But they are in a position to control their own destiny. They have this conference in the grip of their palm right now. And the way that they tighten it is the way that they just showed Montana State. They swept Montana State at home. Now they need to go on the road and they need to take care of big brother Montana. So... Keys for victory for me and for us to get some money off this game is to go into the first half with a lead to be more efficient field goal shooting, which sounds kind of simple, but sometimes we've seen some of these teams have problems doing that and lead the battle with threes. If you can start putting threes on this Montana team early, they are going to take shots that they are probably not comfortable with, and that could lead to a wider margin at the half. Force fouling situations. They have a lot of usable size, whether it be Josh Bannon, Michael Stedman, Kyle Owens. You have to press the issue. Make them sweat and control the tempo. If you force these guys to play a faster tempo, a higher volume scoring game, it's not going to suit them. You're going to take the ball away from Montana. You're going to limit your fouling. You're going to score your close proximity shots instead of missing them. And you're going to get to the free throw line a bunch and make a bunch. This is how Weber State wins games. If they can do that, they have the offensive pieces. They have the system. They have the coaching. Isaiah Brown is the perfect transfer to come in to replace Cody Jude and Jarek Harding. I think that with Dante Bassett, Cody Carlson, and Michael Kozak, you have a versatile threesome of frontcourt players that are able to give you a multitude of different things in each game. And then my X factor in this game is going to be Zaire Porter. Zaire Porter brings good size. He can score from all three levels. You can tell he's ready to bust out, and I think that this is going to be the game that he takes the opportunity to do that. You're going to have to stop Michael Stedman down low. You're going to have to keep Josh Vasquez out of the paint and out of the scoring high percentage zones. And with Brandon Whitney, the freshman's been fantastic at getting to the line, drawing fouls, and converting. This is a Montana team that does not have the firepower we've seen of Montana teams of years past. This is Weber State's chance. If they want to go, they can go. If not, then they're going to be slurping cock soup in a corner, cradling themselves with the shower, beating down cold water on them. I think not. I took Weber State. I actually got them at minus one, at minus 110, uh, and that was at Circa, and that's how we're rolling. So Weber State is the spot.